At the beginning of the year, I decided to put down three goals for the year, and one of them was to get into tech as a UX researcher. However, it was just a goal I talked about until March when I started speaking to a friend about actively going to this new career path. Long story short, my friend mentioned my name to a recruiter and she messaged me and asked if I wanted to be part of a strategic design and research fellowship. Well, this fellowship was for designers and researchers that were just starting out in their tech career or were already in it. We the fellows worked in groups of three to reimagine maternal care for black women and their families using meta products. You will find my portfolio linked below. Anyway, that was the start of my transition into tech. I promised my friend I will make a video together when I get my first Welcome job. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ibubara. This channel, what we discuss is everything mental health, wellness, and lifestyle. Hi, Ibubara's subscribers and newbies. So, my name is Ima Bati, and I'm a product manager and a UX researcher. Yes, well, she introduced herself as with her career because today we're going to talk yes. about, like, the topic says, transitioning into tech uh, from other careers that were the humanities yeah so she was a hr person and i am still a psychologist but i was a full-time therapist like you know on this channel for people that have been watching since and well a few months ago we transitioned and here's how it has been i work as a product champion and a ux researcher yeah and we are i, I have been working for I transitioned to tech in March. <laughs> yeah, and when did you transition? Okay, officially, officially. <laughs> I transitioned to tech in August last year. Okay, unofficially. Um, sorry, unofficially August last year, officially March this year. That's true, okay. So we are you. Yes. <laughs> well, I was bored in HR and <laughs> I didn't really see, like, I didn't dream big in HR. I wasn't seeing past, like, um, undergraduates. I wasn't beating my chest saying oh, I want to study HR or I want to be like HR manager or like I didn't see myself growing like that so it was easy for like other things to catch my interest like my eyes were like everywhere and I'm a bit restless so. With me every year I decided to do something extra just yeah. New year. So part of my goals were to start my master's, um, start a master's degree and transition into tech research i have something i want to do in tech in the future so i believe that like i need to start um and learn learn a lot about the industry before going into it so i was like which one fits my um my current role which was ux research it's a lot of psychologists are in it so i was like okay let me see and i was already a researcher and well i did it like if you had advice for someone especially from the humanities hr mental health um psychology, strategy, all those things that are going into tech, what would you give them? Like, what advice would you give them to transition in, especially if they want to do it on short notice? Okay. Like, okay. Well, mine was actually short notice. Yeah, but like, yeah. you push for it, like, it was yeah. like, at the end. Yeah. Um, project, work on projects, you, you can, you can actually create personal projects if you don't have, like, people to work on projects with. Yeah, so for me, specifically for HR, it was easy for me to do a HR project like for the company I was working with. So like I did like design thinking in HR. So like I created like user personas, like employee mm -hmm. personas. I did like journey mapping for like different experiences in HR. So that was one way. Another way would be the product that like, your company is using. So if, for example, HR, sorry if I'm being biased, but like for HR specifically, you're probably using like things like ATS, that's a African tracking system, or anything that the HR team is using, look at, um, you have easy, not like, you have easy access to users, that's the people in the company are using. So you go around, you ask, oh, um, how is this working for you? Um, like, what challenges are you mm -hmm. facing using this uh, tech product? No, okay, this is not only just HR, anything that your company is using, like internally, you can actually meet the people that are using it and try and like, do a case study on it. An actual project which turn into a case study and try to be part of it, right? So, and transferable skills like I know you probably like it's very like it's a common thing, like apply your transferable skills, talk about them, yeah. they really go me. a long way, right? Like, and just reflecting, like me, I started reflecting, I just noticed that I didn't really like managerial stuff, like mm -hmm. looking at CVs, but the kind of like things like interviewing, um employee satisfaction like talking about you know why are you actually like working with this company so it's not just so if you're in hr don't just look at 
face satisfaction service as like to do like just be really passionate about it and see have put in the lens of ah, there can be something I can do in yeah. here right like try to make an impact mm-hmm. yeah to be honest um, not so too much because the time is gone <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, for me I would say transferable skills so focus on them a lot that's what helped me actually the first time I got approached on LinkedIn to come and do to do our first project that we did together and it was transferable skills to be honest because when I was talking in the interview the interview before we got to do the project um, all I talked about was all the research work I have done in psychology so my clinical work was there like I thought of my clinical work okay since this project is about this I have worked with this set of people before do you get what yeah. I mean? so that was there so history of working with that set of people I were about to do research on then I talked about the, all the research skills I've done from intermediate survey, ethnographic research, everything. I brought it, I, I, mm-hmm. I threw it out there when they were talking. So that like helped them see that I wasn't just coming from zero. Like, and yes, there might be people that are coming from zero watching this video. But the truth is that there's just something. If those things are not there, then learn them. Like, yeah. go on to Demi and the rest and learn one or two of those things so that at least you have something to show. Expected um, pushback from people, like especially family. My mom, I expected um, being broke on some, <laughs> being broke on some months. Yeah. I expected, I expected to be lonely a bit, like because I think transition is not an easy thing. So the moments of me just putting putting my head down to do the work, and yeah, I think yeah. I expected that. How about you? Transition is like it's been sweet. <laughs> It's been easy. I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> like I just yeah. woke up. I decided to do something, and I did it. So there's not like big glamorous whatever that's been happening to me. But I'll say that. Okay, let me not say it's so easy because right, I've cried in my job once. My boss, I, my bosses watch my videos. So I. <laughs> it's not because of you people. It's just. I just it's just new territory. But um, it's just it's it's been interesting. Let me not say easy interesting yeah. going from knowing one thing and doing something else so in terms of knowledge I had to read more I had to um, open myself to learning to failing um, that's something I know I've done I had to open myself to failing I had to open myself to learning from other people that knew better because I'm coming from a place where I uh, had worked for a, uh, a couple of years but now I had no knowledge nothing and I just picked up myself and decided to do something so it's been it's been an interesting ride. Um, I've met ver- people that have really been open about teaching and open about helping. I feel like this is the most helpful I've met people. Like in my psychology career, I had people to help me, but this one, the help is like, do you want do you want to? Like you want to help? Right? Yeah, they'll carry it on their heads to help you, yeah. and it's been that, so good yeah, to watch. That's, that's yeah, that's one that's one thing I really liked about like tech because. The community is then something that I, I wouldn't say I lack it, but I didn't see that much. Yeah. Of it. Like it was so hard to like access access people, but like here, yeah, like just tell someone you want to do this or like. Yeah. Are, is there anything so you're saying? Are you sure? Are you like, sure? Are you sure? You want? To, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? I know yeah. this for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so what was really really good and yeah. Yeah. Did you think it fits into tech before yeah. you got into it? Because yeah. me, like, I. I know that I think I can fit into almost everything, but I didn't necessarily think I could fit into tech. I, I thought that it was going to be one of those things that I tried and I let go because um, I did not fit. <laughs> For me, it, w- it was very easy to see my place in tech, like because I started looking for, like I said, I was born in HR, so I started looking like non-conventional ways to like approach HR, to so kind of like found employee experience design thinking. Mm-hmm. So, and I knew that I like talking to. And that's something about you to say. You have to be very, very curious, right? So I just noticed that aspect about me, and I, I now joined one boot camp, um, a design boot camp. And what I was, what I literally joined for, I got like I was looking out for someone talking about you to search to like impact HR and things like employee experience design and service design. So once I got it, was like a mini validation, like oh yes, there's, I, there's actually that space, you know, for me. So I saw myself there. Okay, so did transitioning affect your mental health? <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, when I left my 
each other job. So I actually resigned after NYC. So I had a plan A, that one flopped. So my plan B was tech. So I was learning um, design as I was doing that plan. I will not talk about plan A here. So that one flopped. So this was around me. So my mental health like, like deep, like it was really bad because even the tech on and I started being on shock, plan A has flopped. Like, this one is plan A, really flopped. So I was already scared. And also the pushback that I mentioned. So my mom was like, ah, that's you. It's like all I've known has been HR, right? And you know she's also like into HR. So it's like there was this, not like she's dreaming for me, but like she thought I was dreaming with her for me, right? So now I'm here, I want to go and move it to tech. So um, there was all of that, can you do it, right? Uh, what if it takes too long? What if it's really hard? Can you stand it? So I started to like question myself as well. Then also it was lonely because I found it hard to explain to people. I had my validation, but you know when you can't just start talking to you, like what are you doing now? You know, mm-hmm. start explaining, I'm doing this, I'm learning this. And they're just like, ah, but see how it, well like you did it, like school in HR. So what's your business like? You know? Why do you have to when you can just Yeah, because you're so you 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 were you know anything about like doing well in a course. Like when you do well in something, people believe that that's what you should be doing. Exactly. And I find that thing hilarious first of all, because okay. So yeah, so what? so <laughs> I can do well in that exactly. So, so I think that there's this thing on people that know that do well in a certain thing. Like because like even my own, like I didn't have anybody pushing me back or anything in terms of I I was good at my job. But it was a thing of um I had to think about it, like I'm already so good at this thing, why do I want to start yeah. something else that yeah. I'm going to start from scratch? But why not? Exactly. Like so sometimes things look like very small tasks and they look like, oh, you should do this now and not even think twice. Mm-hmm. But because it's a new career, mm-hmm. it's like, okay, but I have to think twice because yeah. I want to do well and I want to, yeah, I want to do well at this because I have, I'm used to doing well, I'm used to passing, I'm used mm-hmm. to being the one that you call for award. I'm used to, you know what I'm saying? Like, even, even your own is even worse because I feel like you, you, you have a path, like, the whole, like, been you know in school now me i started reading everyone that says two this one was really nice i want from just one <laughs> so you know that part of like just being excellent but like even me that I was not even generally like winning the overall for whatever but there were two things that they called me for mm-hmm. and like i'm just used to that life of like always being the one and like oh my God, yes. after that after that thing so it's it take, it has taken a toll on my mental health in a way that i am not just the best at it right now and i want to be the best at it yeah, yeah. so but i also have just been in it for like i have my job is less than one month <laughs> but i've transitioned in less than three months so i need to give myself time but that time is now the thing that's making me sad that's like it's not like i don't know that i need to give myself time it's just that oh god it's taking time yes yeah, that's good yeah. why are you taking time yeah, I remember one time I flopped in a user interview. Hey God! I want. I said I apologize to everyone in there. I asked so to more. I don't know the question I asked that, and it was it was so hard for like the participants to like understand what I was asking. So I had to repeat myself. So I wanted to enter the ground. See, it was so overwhelming. Oh so I really had to like apologize. And it was like it's okay. Like these things happen. Like by the way, you're just learning. Yeah. So would you say like PM or project? Your current role is a product management role. Mm-hmm, yeah. Do you think that like it found you or you found it? It found me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, it found me because I I'd always been big on tech research, right? That's actually how I kind of transition into tech. So there was this um, founder, he put out a tweet that if you want to um, learn product management, um, reach out and you can shadow my team. And so what I saw as like a curriculum was like user research. So I hopped on it. And then he was like, this is mainly for people that maybe have their school knowledge in PM, mm-hmm. right? But since more of your background is like in design, I would just like take you as like an extra person. So, and it turned out that I was really like doing good in the program. And I was just like surprising myself, mm-hmm. honestly. Oh, and he's God. like... Oh God, it's that, thing, it's that thing of just being good at stuff. I, like normally you're good. And I'm so. like, okay, okay. So um, he, the other fan was like, this is something that you should actually look into, that mm-hmm. you can actually do. So I'm like, oh, really? Like, okay. And finding a job at that time for you to search was really hard. And 
I hadn't really gotten like any hands-on like experience. So I was like, okay, this one that I have a bit of experience in, and I'm getting validation and I'm with this thing, right? So I'm like, okay, let me actually like you know, pursue it. So, but that wasn't actually where I got my job from. It was somewhere else, and during that time, it was like grooming me. Come, on, he kind of like became my coach, so mm-hmm. like, he was really grooming me. And um, applications came and I applied, and yeah, here we are. Okay. My bosses took a chance on me to be honest because this is my first tech job and like Same. I'm just learning. <laughs> but they took a chance on me and here I am. Um, so that's that's a good thing to to be honest because it's very um, it's, I think we're lucky because people decided to take a chance on us. I think we're lucky. So this is not even a we bragging to you know <laughs> because some people might watch and be like it's not easy for some people because a lot of people have been in it for like a year, six months, they're not just a job. But like I think it's just it's also it's a thing of um we work towards this, yes, but we're also pretty 